Hello and welcome to Western Civ 1 Online. My name is Eric Bev. I'll be your instructor this semester. I just want to go over just a couple of things real quick now that we're sort of getting towards the end of this first week. By now, you should have accomplished many of these things. You should have been in and read your syllabus, taken a look at the introduction module, all right, learned about the proctored exam and proctored exam testing, okay, and uh, started to work on uh, some of these assignments. And you guys can see that some of you have already turned these in, and that's good work. I just want to go over just a few things, okay? I'm not going to spend a whole lot of time on the syllabus because you can read that on your own. But I am going to show you that the syllabus actually lives in two places. The, uh, we have our course syllabus, which is always available to you under the syllabus tab. But in the introduction module here, and hold on, I want to make myself a student so it looks like what you see. Then if you look on uh, the introduction module here, there is under course policies, another link that says syllabus. Let's click on it. And what you will see here is uh, the college's standard syllabus page. If you click this link, you're going to go to back to our syllabus. But if you scroll down here, you're going to see some of the important policies that you need to go in and take a look at, including the attendance policy, academic honesty, okay, emergency procedures, things like that. But the most important thing to probably take a look at is the attendance policy. Heinz has an attendance policy that's state mandated. If you click on the excessive absence button there, you'll get to uh, this chart. Okay. This is a virtual class that meets, all right, technically it meets once per week, all right, but it's a 16 week. So you can miss four times. You can have four absences. And remember that attendance is taken in this class on Sundays based on how, how if you have turned in all your assignments or not. So I take attendance really on Monday after I grade everything and uh, that's how attendance is done. If you are missing assignments, you're also going to be counted absent. So I just wanted you to uh, make sure that you see that as well. And remember that if you go up here and click this, you're going to go right back to uh, our syllabus and the information that you see here. The other thing is that online classes run through modules. People uh, who are the first time taking an online class, they tend to, and I'm going to go here and show you, kind of gravitate to this to-do list over here and they don't ever move really off this page. They just simply try to accomplish the tasks that they see here. Well, classes really run through modules. So let's click on modules. We just talked about the introduction material here and these early assignments, your orientation survey, your uh, discussion board here, the welcome discussion board that's right there, and your how to use inquisitive are all right here. They have due dates, as you can see right there. And so uh, that is how courses run. You have supporting material usually up here and then your assignment. So if we scroll down to our chapter one, for example, then you have the link to the textbook for you to do your textbook reading. Then you have resources like author videos and outline, a PowerPoint, all right, flashcards. Then you have assignments. And usually every week, probably during the weekend, I will start to uh, put up a short little video about the material that you're going to cover in each chapter and some of the important things. I'll probably just use the PowerPoint to kind of go through and show you some of the important stuff that you'll see during that week. If I were you, then I would print out either the outline or the PowerPoint in a way where you can take notes with it. And as you read your chapter on your own, I would jot down some important stuff, especially the important stuff that I might mention to you in our little mini lecture that I'll try to put up every week. All right, and I hope to be able to do that sometime this weekend. So look for that to show up sometime, maybe Saturday or Sunday. Then, of course, notice that you have an inquisitive assignment due, the uh, first peoples, the Neanderthals that are due, and then your quiz on your reading of the chapter. So you start to see that stuff pop up, and uh, that will help guide you through uh, the course. Now, remember, to access your textbook, you click there, then you should be able to get in and uh, read your textbook. So far, everyone looks like they're doing well. I go in and try to check every day to make sure people are turning in things. So uh, all of you look like you're doing a great job. So let me encourage you to keep it up, and let's have a great semester.